Hey everyone, I'm Pat Kupo, and I'd like to introduce you to Compressor Plus, brand new in Bitwig Studio 5.2. Compressor Plus thinks about compression a little differently, with familiar controls alongside unusual ones, and a superior approach to analyzing audio. It's an all-in-one compressor for any use case. Plus, with various character options and VCA color modes, a vast range of compression styles and tones are all available. If you're familiar with the compressor device, all of the same parameters are present with some tweaks. There's input gain for plus and minus 24 decibels of gain. The threshold level can be set in multiple locations. There's ratio for the amount of compression applied. Attack and release are used to set the base times of the device. And there's makeup gain and a learn makeup gain trigger that can run for 15 seconds. In this first example, I'll start with the dry bass tone and enable compressor plus. I've already set a ratio of 1 to 5, a medium attack, and a slow release. I'll set the makeup gain manually, add some other fun effects, and check it in context. As a bonus, I have another Compressor Plus on the bus to glue the tracks. To my ears, the bass dynamics now sound even more even and consistent, which allow me to bring it up in the mix and hear all the details. With Compressor Plus, an incoming audio signal is split into four frequency bands for analysis purposes only. This is called multiband analysis. The analysis band controls allow you to adjust the compression intensity and timing parameters for each analysis band. To be clear, compression here is a unified process. Same deal in this example. I'll solo the guitar and EQ it before it hits Compressor Plus, attenuating the lows and pushing the highs. I've set the high mids and highs analysis bands to influence the compressor more than the low end. I'll add in a couple of delay pluses for texture, check the guitar in the mix, and enable Compressor Plus on the bus. As you heard, Compressor Plus certainly plays nice with its new neighbors while having a clear influence over the tone of single and grouped tracks. To the right of the display, there are additional controls for gain reduction and timing. With Knee, you can set a custom curve for signals below the threshold, while Relax bends the compression curve toward 1 to 1, or no compression, starting with the loudest signals. Compressor Plus boasts three gain reduction modes for dynamic range processing. Standard has a normal compression ratio range from 1 to 1 to 1 to infinity, and Beyond has an extended compressor range for upward or downward compression. Dual allows for upward and downward compression. Knee has become lift here for custom compression curves below the threshold. In this example, I'm using Compressor Plus in a variety of ways. To lift some of the quiet parts of the synth, bend the loud parts back down, sidechain with the kick, and then, as usual, glue the group together.
That definitely works for me. Sometimes a kick, a bass arp, and a bunch of feature-rich compressors are all you need. Maybe my favorite new feature, character sets the style of compression based on different timing settings. And the options are vanilla, smooth, over, glue, resist, and smash. Auto timing sets the amount that attack and release are automatically adjusted based on the incoming audio and the character settings. Actually, there's a lot happening behind the scenes between character and auto timing, and I recommend spending some time getting to know these parameters. Finally, a mix parameter can be used for some useful parallel effects. Now let's have a listen to the characters on a drum loop, which I've already EQ'd. In the output section and inspector, you'll find the VCA color modes, which apply tonal characteristics to the compressed signal. And the modes are clear, prism, transistor, and saturate. The inspector also includes four stereo independence modes and a stereo independence amount for setting the distribution and amount of stereo separation. Lastly, there is a sidechain section to set an audio sidechain source and insert devices to process the sidechain source. For this final example, I'm combining the VCA modes with a vocal track, and keep this in mind. Clear adds no coloring. Prism is a blend of single and multiband compression. Transistor adds a consistent analog feel, while Saturate adds a moving analog tape feel. If you want to emphasize these VCA modes, try pushing the input gain a bit, or a lot. Nothing shows Just men counting numbers We've no cure. They've taken our numbers. Nothing sure. Just men counting numbers. We've no cure. They've taken our numbers. Nothing sure. Just men counting numbers. We've no cure They've taken our numbers Nothing sure Just men counting numbers We've no cure They've taken our numbers Nothing sure Just men counting numbers I like the tone and feel of the transistor and saturate modes, but I think prism worked best in this context. Okay, let's review. All of the controls from the original compressor, plus multiband analysis with unified compression, plus knee lift and relax settings, plus three gain reduction modes, plus six characters, plus auto timing and a wet dry mix, plus four VCA color modes, plus four stereo independence modes with a stereo independence amount, plus side chain controls equals compressor plus. There you have it folks, another welcome addition to a growing list of effects and devices. Go download version 5.2 today and try Compressor Plus for yourself. I'm very excited to see what you'll do with it in your work. Once again, I'm Pat Kupo, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.